All right, just a quick video on, um, on uh, cleaning out our burettes whenever we're done for the day. Uh, so uh, I've got a little bit of more titrant I haven't used. I'm gonna drain that into my original beaker. Um, we can be able to use this in, uh, for our next class or for a different class. Uh, so we're gonna drain this out and we're gonna clean that. Um, in college, you probably wouldn't uh, reuse any kind of titrant in case this somehow was contaminated. Uh, but uh, we're, for what we're doing, it's totally fine. Uh, so we're gonna let this drain out. Uh, and then uh, what we're gonna do then is give it a couple of rinses with water. All right, so I'll just take another couple seconds to get this all the way to drain. Um, if you were in a really big rush, uh, you could close this off and dump it out the other end and then rinse it out with water. Um, you could also do that. Um, you could also empty this out with that method um, if you got a clog in your burette tip and you couldn't get any of your titrant out to be able to try to clean it out. Um, that would be an option. It's not, it's not the best. This is a lot more controlled um, and you can do this and then start cleaning up your lab in another way. All right, so I'm going to move that aside and then um, I would grab like another beaker that I wasn't concerned about using. Um, this is just the leftover titrant that I had from before. Uh, and I'm gonna use my squirt bottle and then just fill a bunch of uh, water through here. Uh, you could also get uh, water from a uh, You could also get water from the uh, pour it into a beaker and do that. Uh, you could also do this um, in a similar way that when we filled this, you could also have the, uh, the tip of the burette in the sink uh, and let it drain and everything like that. All right. Um, and uh, so I've run a bunch of water through here, so I feel really good that the, uh, that the tip is really clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the valve here. Uh, and I'm gonna dump out the rest in the sink. I should note that the water that we're using when we do this, um, that, this is, um, uh, that this is the distilled or the deionized water that we have uh, in the room. We're never using tap water for that, all right? When we, um, I'm gonna zoom back here, move this back. Um, when we store our burette, um, when we store the burette, we, um, we want to make sure that the tip is, uh, is uh, up to the sky, all right? And then, um, so we want to store it with the tips up to the sky. And then the other thing that we need to do right now, my valve is closed right now. Um, and, and watch what happens when um, I open it up because there's actually water in here. So when I open it up, it drains out. And, uh, and now this will be able to, to, to air out and dry out uh, kind of overnight. Um, and uh, this will prevent any kind of junk that may form in here overnight, which can clog the tip. All right. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching.